Welcome back, you beautiful people. Have you ever got yourself in a bit of a sticky situation out there in the wilderness on one of your rides? Well, today is your lucky day. I've got a few tips and tricks on how to get yourself out of those sticky situations. Stick around. Woohoo! Punctures! I hate punctures. Ah. Right, let's fix it. Why is that so tight? Ah! Why is that so tight? Open up the. No. I have a tip for you. Now, if you over tighten your rear axle, like I have right here, which you shouldn't do, you should go to the correct Newton meters, but some of us don't actually do that. I've got a little tip here. We need to make it longer. We need some more leverage. Now, the best thing to do is get your front axle out. So get your front axle out, preferably if it's a quick release. If you don't have a quick release, then make sure that's not tight. Loosen that one first. So I've got my, my front axle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna get the next big one out, which is gonna be the five mil there. I'm gonna put that in there like that. I'm gonna put that there like that. And I'm gonna use that as leverage to, to get it to do it the right way, to loosen it off. Ah, oh, lifesaver. Using your front axle as a lever bar is a great hack to remove really stubborn, tight bolts. Don't over tighten your rear axle. I am running tubeless in here. Now, if you do come to a point where you've sliced your tire and you can't plug it, with any of those little plugs that you've got with you, then preferably an inner tube will fix it, but make sure you put in a nice bit to stop your inner tube from poking out this big slash in your tire. Now, when it comes to inner tube, this is the next hack of mine. I have an inner tube here, no matter what size wheel you're running. I'm running 29, 29, but if you're running a mixed wheel size or if you're still running 26, it's always good to carry a 29 inch tube. Why? because it'll fit in all the tires. What I'm trying to say is you can shrink your inner tube by folding it in itself like this. Basically, I've kind of shrunk my inner tube by two inches. This is how much, ready? Now I have seen people just tie knots in them and then continue riding, but it actually leaves a funny little lump in your tire. Preferably, when doing so, make sure you do it on the opposite side to your valve, just to balance it out. But it doesn't really make a difference that much. Make sure you just do it this side when you're doing it. Right, moving on from using your front axle as a lever bar to remove stubborn axles, being super tight, don't over tighten them. We've used an inner tube in here, I'm using a 29er for all sorts of, all sorts of tire sizes. But one thing that people don't actually carry around, and I've got this one from a very good friend and nice favorite YouTuber, and that is carrying a spare valve core. Not a lot of people do this, but when you're out there, you're pumping away, sometimes you can actually bend the valve core or even snap it with inside your valve. And that is not good because how are you gonna keep the air in your tire? It's always good to carry one of these. Now I carry one of these in my neoprene bag for my multi-tool, which is, you don't even know it's there until you need it. Always carry a spare valve core when you're out there riding, especially when you're out in the big wilderness. Right, a little shameless plug. Now, if you don't have a valve core removing tool, then get yourself some PT's valves because it has a little valve core cap on it already. Look at that. 
fixed. Done it, Nick. Should we crack on? Yep. Now, if you don't carry a bag, a fanny pack, or anything like that, get yourself a few cable ties just like these, or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. Give them a little bit of a bend like this, and your crank arm spindle right in there is a perfect place to hide some cable ties. Just for that point where you do need to use them, be it if you've broken a chain, you need a cable tie up your derailleur, or your cables are just a bit loose and you need to just tighten them up. Bend them, stuff them in there. Don't like this. Don't like it. Ah, but I don't like this. This bit right here is annoying. Now, most of us don't carry cutters or cable cutters or a knife on the trail. So I have a little hack. Now, on your multi-tool, you've got these two, a five mil and a three mil. It doesn't matter, but there's a tiny little gap in between the two there. What you do is you want to put your cable tie through that gap all the way. And then whilst it's on there, you just twist it. Just keep on twisting and it will snap off just like that. And the good thing about it, when it snaps, it's actually twisted and it's not giving you that nasty little sharp bit for you to cut yourself on. Neat little hack. An extra tip is your multi-tool maintenance. Now these do come loose and when they are loose, this little hack here with the cable tie won't work. So before you leave home, just do a little bit of maintenance on your multi-tool. Give it a little bit of a tighten up so it's all nice and stiff because the stiffness is definitely gonna help you cut that cable tie out there on the trail. We've spoken about inner tubes and valve cores. Now you need to carry said inner tube. Now, if you're carrying a backpack, then perfect. That can go in the backpack. Likewise with a fanny pack as well. But what if you've not got one of those items that you want to carry and you want to just carry this on your bike? Now you can buy straps to strap your inner tubes and multi-tools and other bits and pieces, but these can be quite expensive. What? I've come up with a solution before where I used these straps right here. I did a bike packing adventure on a, on a budget and these are pretty cost effective. And you can strap an inner tube using just one of these ski straps. But if you come into a bit of a sticky situation, you can actually utilize these straps to hold your bike together. Or if you've broken your dropper post or something's fallen off, you can kind of use these straps to hold your dropper down or up. I'm not saying this water bottle is going to fall out, but in some cases, some bottle cages, your bottle does fly out. And I've had it happen before. Now this strap can come in handy just to hold in that water bottle when it comes to a rough bit of trail. Hoo what an absolute adventure I've had. I've had a few pickles in there, little technical issues, but my little favorite hacks and tips to get myself out of the sticky situation did help. Hopefully these have helped you and maybe you can take on a few of these for your next adventure. But if you've got a few, let us know in the comments down below, help the community out because there's, a few, there's tons of tricks and tips out there that people do and use constantly. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up like and I'll see you next time. See ya. You wanna go back up, Nick? Yeah. Let's go back up again.